I didn't know you could get cancer involved. You know, you think, okay, you've got breast cancer and then, um, you know, all these different cancers, but you never hear about them in, in a bone in your body. I've always had quite bad pains in my knees. As time kind of went on, I started getting a swelling. Eventually, I couldn't kneel down, I couldn't run, and it was very difficult to use my leg. I started getting very tired and losing weight. It was to the point that I was falling asleep in classes at school all the time. I don't think I thought it was anything that serious. Um, because again, you don't think at 14, oh my God, it's cancer. You just don't. So that wasn't really in my mind. We eventually went to a emergency doctor and um, they kind of said, oh, well, it just looks like you've uh, done too much exercise. It was probably about six to eight months um, going backwards and forward. So when I was sent away and just not believed, it was really quite upsetting and frustrating. And um, I think as well, you, you start thinking, am I just seeing things or feeling things that aren't there? My dad had an appointment um, to see a doctor, so he gave me that appointment. And thankfully, this doctor had actually seen an osteosarcoma, not many do in their lifetime and she sent me for an x-ray and blood. Obviously when I went for the x-ray and the blood test, it was a step forward because it wasn't, here's some tablets, mask the pain, but I can't help sometimes and think, if we diagnosed it earlier, there's people that can just have their bone removed and radiation and put back in. So then I think oh, maybe I wouldn't have been as disabled I wouldn't have had to have as much chemotherapy. So when I look back at how long it took and the ramifications of that, it was, you know, even now I get a bit angry sometimes. 